Good afternoon, happy Women's History Month, and welcome back to Muralist Spotlight. I'm your host, Naja Springer. Today, we are going to be discussing the mural, Opposing Forces, a half stained glass mosaic completed by artist Ellen Tiborino and painting by artist Al Toll and the participants of Mural Arts Color Me Back who supported the development and installation of the mural back in October, 2021 in Suburban Station behind the ticket booth. Ellen, thank you so much for joining us today. It's great to see you. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, and I have a few questions that I'm gonna ask you today, and I'm sure all of our followers are really interested in learning about this mural. So firstly, would you be able to tell us a little bit about yourself and your background in art? My name is Ellen Tiberino. I'm from West Philadelphia. I come from a prominent artist family in Philadelphia. My mother was a fine artist who has work in the permanent collection in the Art Museum's African-American collection. My father was a well-known muralist and Abbey Fellowship awardee. And I'm a stained glass mosaic artist. Sometimes I do mixed media with ceramic. Awesome, beautiful. Thank you for telling us that. And could you talk to us about the process that you went into creating this mural? Well, it was, I had signed one to come down to Color Me Black back and work on a series of workshops with the participants mm -hmm. who are um, housing challenged. And um, I had signed on to do it because I wanted to get back out there doing my art. You know, it was two years of complete shutdown because almost two years of complete shutdown because of COVID. Yeah. And thank God. Uh, thanks to the Black Doctors Collective, I was able to get my vaccine right before I started. Awesome. I signed on to do it, but it was that extra, it made me feel a lot more comfortable. Um, <laughs> so I conducted a series of workshops with them. And those ideas and images help inform my design, which I co-created with uh, the painter Al Tull of Mirror Arts of mm -hmm. an oasis in the middle of Suburban Station. Something positive and beautiful in these dark times. And the opposing forces idea is just, his style and my style, completely different. Both mm -hmm. as individuals and artists. So those two coming together and I'm night, he's dead. Although I did create the sun in mosaic. <laughs> That's awesome to hear. And, you know, I want to know, was there any community engagement involved in creating this mural? Uh, the community of, uh, and they are a part of the uh, community, the participants of Color Me Back. Uh, there is really no community around there except for the daily uh, pedestrians, people who mm -hmm. are, you know, using Suburban Station. A lot of people loved the little mini mosaics that were created. They actually came and wanted to buy them from the participants. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. When I was installing it, the people that are going back to for forth to work every day, they really love the, uh, the mural. And I've gotten a lot of positive responses from it. Yeah, I, I've seen the mural before uh, taking regional rail from Suburban Station and it's absolutely beautiful and it's so eye catching, but you're right, especially with COVID, it's you know something that I look forward to when I'm going home. I'm like, you know, there's always a beautiful mural for me to see, but especially this one at Suburban Station. Um, and I'm curious, how long did it take for you to complete this mural? It took a long time, it took a long time. Things with art are always longer than anticipated because it's not, uh, it's not an exact science, you know, it's a creative thing with, you know, took us a while to get approval. That's, you know, that's a process for the design, but it's good that it was set up that way. Cause then by the time you get to that wall, you know exactly what you're doing. It's a good process that's set up cause it kind of gets the bugs out. Uh, so you know exactly what you're doing when you're getting there. Uh, my process takes a long time. Everything's hand cut glass. I grind it, and the reason it's ground for safety reasons, because although people aren't supposed to touch art, when they see this beautiful iridescent stained glass, they wouldn't want to touch it. Yeah. So, you know, it has to be hand cut, ground. I had my niece, Maddie Scuderi, 
And my mentor, Gail Scuderi, helped with the installation. Gail Scuderi advised me, helped with the installation. My niece helped me on the assembly. But uh, I started in the spring of 2021, early spring, March, <laughs> April, um, and installed in October. Also, because there were classes there for Color Me Back and different things going on, it, you know, as you know, you got to adapt and go with the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And, you know, you saying that you come from a family of amazing and successful artists, I'm sure our followers would love to know if you have any advice uh, for a young aspiring artist or just an inspiring artist in general. Perseverance. Um, mm -hmm. When I first started out, I wanted to be part of mirror arts. It was a big ambition, a goal of mine. And uh, mm -hmm. it's every time I would see Jane out, hey, Jane, hey, hey, you know, and it eventually yeah. became a mutual thing, you know, but I never, I made my own way, you know, just, you know, I, I wear people out, you know, just knocking, you gotta, you gotta knock on doors, knock on doors now. Don't get me wrong, don't be obnoxious, don't be rude, be polite, go about it the right way, but perseverance. You know, everything I have, I work for. You know, I do a different, completely different thing than my family's on purpose to pay my own way. And as a woman, you know, I, I never liked being compared to my parents. So what I do is not comparable to what my family does because it's in a completely different direction, you know, but, uh, I made my own way, you know, perseverance, perseverance. Well, you heard it everyone. Perseverance is an extremely important factor. Uh, and our next question is, where can we find your work? I'm working on my new website, which should be done um, thanks to a grant from the Bartol Foundation. Uh, I've been such a busy year, but it should be out in the next few months, in the next mm -hmm. two months. Uh, and it's ellentiberino.com. And for now, you can find me on Ellen Tiberino Art on Instagram. Please follow me. All right, perfect. So you heard it, everyone. Make sure to give Miss Ellen a follow on Instagram. And, and I also, I'm sorry, I also have an art show coming up at the Mainline Art Center. Uh, the opening for that is April 9th. And if you're interested in going on to that, you can register at mainlineart.com. Okay. All right. Awesome. So thank you so much, Ellen, for taking the time out of your day to be interviewed as this month's Muralist Spotlight. It was amazing to be able to interview you. As I said, I find your artwork to be very inspiring. And, you know, uh, for me as an artist, it's amazing to hear from people that have such a successful career in art and you're doing amazing work. I'm sure you hear this all the time, but I truly think you're doing amazing work. And we were so, we are so excited to see what's next. And this is it for this month's Neural Spotlight. So thank you everyone for tuning in and stay tuned for oh, April's. One more thing I wanted to add. Yes. My artwork has been featured on Bel Air, the new hit series on Peacock. Okay. So I have my self-portrait in the living room and another piece in Uncle Phil and Aunt Viv's bedroom. So please tune in and check it out. <laughs> awesome. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Wow. Thank you that's so much. Awesome. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ellen. Have a great day. Thanks. You too.